Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use Webbox. It's a very highly requested video. So, first, let's just create a file webhook.js. Okay, then we're going to require the webhook first. Require Discord. Yes. And here we're going to put in um, webhook, webhook client. And then uh, module the exports. I'm just gonna demonstrate on how to use the webhook, so you can customize it to whatever you want. For example, like mod logs, moderation logs, or something. So, okay. First thing you need to do is find a channel, a text channel, clean an edit channel, go to integrations. Create a webhook. Uh, this name can be anything. It doesn't matter because it's going to be changed later on. Uh, so just copy the webhook URL. Just press copy. And then you... Oh, I'm just going to do it in this channel. Oh yeah, it's already in. So Captain Hook. So I'll just... So this is the webhook. The first one will be the ID. The second one will be the token. So, um, cons or uh, equals new webhook client, webhook client, and then first they say it's ID, then it's gonna be a string. So, ID, I'm just gonna copy the ID. So, basically, it's the numbers, and then after the numbers, after the slash, it's the token. So, comma, and then put in token. Then you can delete this. Okay, so this is the webhook client setup. Then so we just do wc .sim. Okay, so we're just gonna put um the message authors means the author's um avatar, and also um the author's username. So username equals message the author. You can change this to anything you want, like. For example, put it in a string or something. I'm just gonna do this and then avatar URL message the message the author dot display avatar URL. I'm just gonna make it dynamic. Dynamic true. Okay, so in here um, before the object you can put strings to send a message. So let's, let me just show you. Just remember to put a comma behind of the string. Um, let's say hello. This is this. Just put template controls in here. Um, hello. This message is from message. The author for time. Okay. Let's just try. let me just show you. I'm just gonna run the bot. Okay, accidentally press File Explorer. Okay, let's wait for the bot to get on. Let me just kick this. So the bot is now on. Okay, so we're gonna try out. Let's just do Y webhook. Y webhook. And then you should send in here, handle this message. Or oh, we can make this too. Um, just put this. Change this. Just put it args dot join. So it's taking the arguments. So let me just show you. I can just write any message I want in here. So why webhook? Just wait for it to load. Why webhook? Um, hello, this is this second message. It says in here. Hello, this is second message. So. Now let me show you how to do it with embeds. First, we're gonna require it again. Um, message embed. Okay. Then in here, we're gonna remove this. We're just gonna make an embed very quickly. Const embed equals new message embed. Set title. This is embed. Set color green. 
dot set stamp. You can put it anything you want actually. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna do this, and in here put a comma, and then put embeds, and then put in your embed here. You can put several arrays. I'm just gonna put one. So embed, and then save it. Okay. Now let's wait for it to load. When I do my webhook, it should send the embed to the webhook channel. Y webhook, and then so this is an embed. Okay, we can just make a customizable uh, embed. Let me just show you how very quickly. Dot set description arcs dot join. So basically, it takes in uh, any arguments after the command. Then you put it inside the embed. So, why? And then this is the last test of this video. And then, uh, oh, I used you. Oh my god. What? Oh, this is the last test for this video. And then you should send here. And then this is the last test for the video. So yeah. That's about it for embeds. Uh, if you have, if you want to see any more options, it will be over here. Yeah. So, I end up have a nice day. Oh yeah, one thing. If you have any errors or you need any help, feel free to join the recon there. Um, Discord server. As you can see, um, webhook tutorial has won the votes. That's why I'm making this video today. If you have any suggestions, you can just uh, put it in suggestions so web hook web hook so yeah other than that have a nice day and see you again on the next video bye